The Messerschmitt BF-110 The Messerschmitt BF-110 was a German twin-engine night fighter and heavy fighter used during World War II. Design and Development Through the 1930s, the major military powers engaged in a transition from biplane to monoplane designs. Most considered on single-engine single fighter aircraft, for a problem with ranges arose. The Reichluftministerium, pushed by Hermann Goering, issued a request for a new multi-purpose Kampfzendestroyer, battle destroyer, with long-range inter an internal bomb bay and an internal bomb bay. The request called for a twin-engined, three-seat, all-metal monoplane armed with cannons as well as a bomb bay. Of the original seven companies, only Bocke Wolf, Messerschmitt, and Henschel responded to the request. Specifications Equipped with two Daimler Benz DB six hundred one A V twelve inverted liquid cooled piston engines with one thousand fifty horsepower two twenty millimeter MG FF cannons with one hundred eighty rounds per gun four seven six two millimeter MG-17 machine guns with 1,000 rounds per gun, and one MG-15 machine gun in the t mounted in the, t gunner, in the rear gunner's position for defense, a top speed of 295 miles an hour, a cruise speed of 163 miles an hour, a range of 481 miles, and a service ceiling of 32,810 feet. Famously, Hans Wolken Schnelfer and his crew in their BF-109 G4U8 became aces, shooting down many British bombers during the late stages of the Second World War. Variants, the Messerschmitt BF 161 was supposed to be a reconnaissance aircraft based on the BF-110, and the Messerschmitt BF-162 was supposed to be a light bomber based on the BF-110 as well. In the end, the Messerschmitt BF-110 was one of the best and longest serving heavy fighters during World War II. It was comparable to the Kawasaki Ki-45 and somewhat comparable to the Bristol Bowfighter. It was never replaced by its replacements, the Messerschmitt ME-210 and 410. It served from the beginning of the Second World War all the way up to the end. If you have any aircraft to recommend, leave them in the comments down below, and as always, I'll see you next time.